my three granddaughters, my favorite lambs. Uh, I shared a scripture song last Sunday. I have another one today. In our adult Sunday school lesson today, we were studying from the book of Paul's letter to the Philippians. In Philippians chapter 4, one of the very first <laughs> scripture songs that I ever learned was Philippians 4.4. 4. It is, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. It's almost like the Jesus wept of Paul's writings. Very short. But I can't remember where I learned this, and that's the, the way of many of the scripture songs that I know, that uh, I don't know where I learned them, or who wrote them, or who wrote the melody. Don't know the history of it at all. I like to know things like that. And, uh, I used to be able to put my big toe in my mouth, but I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> it's, it's very envious. Even with my age in mind, I, I, I was still, when I began to practice this this week, I, I, I remembered that uh, that verse I sing in the key of D. This is the D chord right here. It is written in the key of D. If you, I don't know how many keys you've been able to play in as you're learning to play the piano, but the key of D has two sharps in it. It has a, uh, at the very beginning of the staff, just right after the uh, treble clef mark, it has a sharp, it looks kind of like a hashtag, a tic-tac-toe bar, on the F line at the very top, and also on the C space. F and C throughout the song. Every time you come upon an F note or a C note of any size or shape, it's sharp. It, it's, you take it up one step. It, it, it is increased in pitch and value. The key of D tells you that there are some primary chords. There are three chords primarily. There is D. She got in her mouth there. Where'd you get that? Come off your shoe? Off your sock? There's a D, and then A7, the guitar chord, A7, and G. There are three primary or major chords in every key, and you can play just about any song with any of those three chords. Look this how this goes. Philippians 4.4, 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. There were some problems, our troubles, our difficulties. There was some anger and bitterness. There was some disappointment and sadness in the church at Philippi. And Paul is writing to them from jail. He's in prison. And he says, rejoice. He says, you need, you're really focused on the things that, are, that you don't enjoy. But he says, rejoice in the Lord, always. And then he talks to them in the next verses about the peace of God which passes all understanding. And so I, uh, we, we have songs, we have a song like Count Your Many Blessings, that when uh, the cloud, storm clouds come and the, the rain falling and it's, and it's uh, maybe not the weather that we might prefer, there are always going to be things that we can rejoice in, often, always things in Christ that we can be happy or glad about. Uh, Sometimes I play through things and my memory doesn't always serve me well, but I didn't remember that with those three chords in the key of D, that song can be played with just two chords. I want you to watch. I'm going to, I'm going to use the D chord and A7. I don't even use the G chord at all in that song. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again.
again I say rejoice. One other thing I want to show you before I sit you back to your seat is uh, this thing right here. Now, I saw one of these for the very first time, I probably back in 1969 or 70. And uh, one of our students in my guitar class brought his to class. It's a clam. It's called a capo. It's called a capo. And what it does is it pinches down or clamps down on the strings of your guitar behind the fret and it allows you to play in the key of D and E and F just simply by moving this up. Now, this part of the guitar right here, I'll never forget because it always reminds me of me. It's called the nut. <laughs> That's the nut. And what you can do with a capo is move the nut up and I'm going to play that same song in the key of E by using the same chords, D and A7. Now watch this. I'm going to use the same. There's a D chord, but I'm playing it two frets up because of the capo. I was going to tell you, though, Jerry Parker, our piano player, he called it a cheater. He called it a cheater because he, a good guitarist doesn't need one of those. He could play it E anyway. All right. It's going to be a little bit higher. You hear that? It's higher. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. And I'm going to take it up, I'm going to pinch it. Watch. It's just higher, isn't it? Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. There are things that God can teach you. There are things that you can learn. You can learn just one thing. In other words, if you just knew two chords, you could play lots of different songs and you can play in lots of different keys. I found that if I learn what God wants me to learn, if I let Him grow me and make me stronger, if I allow Him to mature me, if I allow Him to place and plant something into my life, it's not just for playing one song. I find that I can, whatever God gives me, I can use it in a lot of different ways. A lot of different ways in a lot of different circumstances. A lot of different situations. Everything that I allow God to teach me is just like using a capo. I can just move it up and down in my life and it helps me with this person or that person or this situation, that circumstance. It's the same thing. I only learned it one time. But once you know it, that's why we need to have our hearts and minds always open for what God wants to put into our lives. Because each one is just like a wonderful blessing that bears such wonderful fruit. All right. She's not happy anymore. She's done with the lamb service. All right. Thank you all. You can go back to your seat and tell her, rejoice, Harper, rejoice. Hey, Brother Danny, if you'd come and continue to lead us.